Hey guys. So I've got uh, all these battle songs. So I figured I would do a um, uh, quick collection video. Uh, trying to do individual review videos on every one of these. Uh, haven't actually got to all of them yet. But the reason why I'm doing a collections video is because some of these are up for sale. Oh, they just went up for sale. And, <coughs> excuse me. And I want to um, uh, do a collections video while I have them all here before I sell off some of them. So we're just going to burn through them real quick. I'm not going to give a lot of specs. That will be in another detailed uh, video review. This is just showing off what I've got and uh, some of my viewpoints on some of them. So the first one, um, I don't even know who makes this one. I have two of these. Um, I have a regular version. This is the, a trainer version. Uh, and a lot of people, my last uh, collections video gave me a bunch of crap. They're like, that's not a, a trainer because they're used to seeing the trainers with the blades with the holes in them. Uh, just because this doesn't have holes in it doesn't mean it's not a trainer, okay? This particular one is marketed as a trainer. Uh, it doesn't have a T-latch or anything, and the blade does not come sharp, period. does not come sharp. So this is marketed as a trainer. Um, stainless steel construction uh, is about all I know about it. Uh, it's tank pin. It is very thick and is pretty hefty. So... Um, this is, and you know, the, the there's plenty of handle play on it, but it actually slips really, really nice. Uh, the handles are nice and smooth. Uh, got kind of a unique, unique sound to it. Uh, but this thing does flip. It does flip really well. And I've got to kind of watch every time I flip one of these things, my sound cuts out. So I'm going to try and talk in between the flipping. I just realized that. So, great little knife. I don't think they're that expensive. I think they're like 30 bucks or something like that. Um, not bad for the money. The next one, this is a 42 clone. Yep, it's clone. Um, trying to purge myself of most of my clones, but there's some that I just can't let go. Uh, this would be one of them. It is not... Uh, you're not going to get the quality feel from this as a real one, okay? So, don't buy a clone, especially one of these, thinking that you're going to satisfy yourself, because you're not. Uh, the handles are a lot thinner. Uh, the blade steel is not as good. Um, the latch function is not is not as good. Um, still flips okay. I had to replace the washers in here to remove some of the handle play, because um, it was pretty crappy. And it's it's not bad, it's not bad now, um, but for what I paid for it, it's not too bad. I mean, if you're a kid, you know, and you, and you get a choice between this or a uh, Baron Sun, which I'll go over. I have a short version here in a little bit. I would choose this over one of those because those are crap. Um, but don't expect this to satisfy your need for a real one. And I said that in the first, well actually I didn't, I, in the first video I said I would never pay the price for a um, full uh, Benchmade. And I got a bunch of crap for that because I said, oh, you know, they were like four, six hundred dollars. Everybody's like, oh, you can pick one up for 150 bucks. Okay, yes, you can, but you can't pick up a 42 <laughs> titanium for 150 bucks. Um, if it's been anodized or it's a special run, you're looking at six hundred dollars. If it's a standard one, you're looking at four hundred dollars. So for all you guys that gave me crap for that, F you, okay? I know what I'm talking about to a certain degree. Um, yes, you can go off and buy a Benchmade for 150 bucks because I have a couple of them here. I said I would never buy them because I didn't see the value, but after I got one in my hands, um, I'm wrong. I do see the value, or I was wrong. I do see the value, they are worth it, um, and as you can see, I've bought several, so... Um, this only makes you want one of them. So that's my opinion on that. The next one <clears throat> is a 62. Benchmade 62. One of their newer versions. Uh, Weehawk Blade. Um, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, it's D2. 
stainless steel. Um, you know, these are milled out. They're not um, out of a mold. They're not like a mem part. Uh, T-latch. I will do a review on this shortly. I do really like it. Um, even though it's not titanium and it's not as light, I actually like the weight. Um, I think it feels pretty good. I did. I've had. I have flipped forty twos before, and unless you're used to the lighter weight, um, I don't like them as much. I, you know, I'm used to flipping this big thing as a trainer. That's that's twice as heavy as this thing is. So I'm used to the weight, so I like it. Um, the next is a fifty one. D2 blade, nice rounded spine, titanium liners, G10 handle, um, a spring latch. Uh, I really like this one as well. This one here is, is lighter, but it's got a different feel to it. Um, it's very quick. I would say that the uh, 62 is, is heavier, more responsive, but slower. And I would say that this one is a lot as uh, lighter, quicker, um, but not as responsive. Sometimes you got to give it more more wrist action to get it to do what you want it to do. Uh, but I do love this one. The next I've had for quite a while. Uh, these are Bradley Kimuras. I don't remember the exact model. You know, I'll probably do a, a review on these as well at some point or another. This one here is serial number 73. They only made so many of these in the black. Kind of like a limited edition. I don't really flip it much. <clears throat> I don't want to scratch it up. This is a great knife. The Bradleys are a great knife. Um, you can't go wrong. If you can't spend as much on some of the other ones, this is definitely... Um, your in between the crap knives and uh, the high end knives is your your Bradleys. And this one here, <clears throat> I taped it off with uh, electrical tape. Uh, this is the one that I've been practicing trying to do aerials and uh, hone my skills. So I always tape the blades off. Sorry, I don't want to end up with gashes all over my hand. So there's a little tip for you. You don't need a trainer, just tape the damn blade off and you're fine. The next one, this is a Microtech. A Microtech. Yeah, I just got this recently. Haven't done a review. I will. Uh, it's a Dragonfly. So I actually called Microtech and asked them for some additional information on this because I can't find anything. Like I can't find how many were made. Um, what, di what what different versions? You know, everything's kind of hearsay. So I called Microtech and they have not responded to my call back. They were supposed to be digging up some information. As soon as I get that, I'm going to do a review on this. So the blade says um, November 2012 or 2002 when this was made. Blade Steel 14.4 CRMO. Okay, whatever. Uh, serial number 257. Dragonfly. <clears throat> so the handles on this are aluminum. They're not titanium. So, um, and this latch is metal, so you kind of got to watch. You can beat up your handles. Um, but this is a, um, did I just hit the thing? Um, this is definitely lighter, and it's also shorter. So if you were to take, you know, although this is a clone, this is the correct size of a 42 lengthwise. So you can see how much shorter it is than what a 42 would be. even the 62 which is a little bit shorter than the 42 sorry it's still shorter so it's not a long battle song it's like an in between in between a short one and a long one which is kind of why i really like it because i've got short hands small hands i really like the size of this so we'll be doing a review on that love that that's a collector's item that is hard to find you'll you'll pay a pretty penny for that one um, Spyderco small fly. This one here is going to get pimped. I plan on doing toxic green and carbon fiber and an acid stone wash on it. It is for sale, <clears throat> and it is for sale pimped because you know I, I I need to make some money off of it. 
So if you're interested in that, or if you want a different color pattern, whatever, um, you know, let me know. Nice little flipper. It's definitely unique. Um, some people really, really love these better than any of the rest of these. Um, so that one will be up for sale, or it is up for sale. The next one is a Baron Sons, a little one. I do have a larger one, but I wasn't going to waste my time digging it out of a box. These are sticky. See? Sticky. Once you break them in, they're okay um, for, you know, just pissing around. Um, but if I had 30 bucks to spend, I'd rather buy a clone, unfortunately. Um, these are just, they're just, they're just crap. I mean, I had one of these, uh, one of these, a different one for the longest time, and I bought another one because I thought that I would like it, and then, yeah, and there's no way adjusting it, um, you just gotta wear it in. Once it's wear it in, it's okay, but I ain't got the time. The next one is a Benchmade 30. <clears throat> this does not have the recess holes in it, stainless steel construction, T-latch. Pretty strong T latch. Um, got this one from the original owner, which did use it. So there are scratches in the blade. This one's for sale. It's uh, up in a different video right now. Um, but if you didn't see that one and you've seen this one, it's still available. And, it, and if it's still available, it's 105 bucks. 105 bucks for a Benchmade 30 that's discontinued. That's because of the scratches in the blade. Uh, the next one is a. Benchmade, um, what is it, 31? Yeah, 31. So, titanium handles, I anodized them blue. Uh, pocket clip, which is not titanium. T-latch is titanium, though. So, 31, the smaller size, titanium, anodized blue. Good retention on the clip. Um... The blade looks to me like it's been reprofiled, but the original owner swears that he, he didn't. He just sharpened it. So, or it could have been a factory error. I don't know. Maybe this thing's worth more than I think it is. Um, these things go for $250, $300. Uh, this one's also for sale for $150. Well, $155. That's, that includes shipping. Um, just because I can't guarantee whether this thing's been reprofiled or not. I'm not the original owner. The original owner swears that he didn't, but uh, it looks like it's lost a little bit of belly. So, um, selling it for what I paid for it, 150, 155 bucks. If it's still up for sale, again, this one's in a different video. Great little flipper. I mean, I love it. Um, I just, I need shop tools right at the moment, so I, I need to let some stuff go. The next one is a 32. I've had this one for a little while. Morpho. Spring latch. Titanium liners. G10 material. Um, same as the uh, 51. But this one's got a black blade on it. I love this one. I love this one. Um, love it, love it, love it. Especially for a smaller size. If you like a smaller one, because um, it's so small, it's a little bit more responsive than the 51 is. Um, it is light, it is quick, it is a little bit more responsive, like I said. Um, so I really like this one. That one's a nice knife. The next one, this one's kind of like my holy grail here. This one in the Microtech. This is a Pacific Cutlery 68 in almost mint condition. Um, stainless steel handles. They're, they got the recessing in them. They got kind of the hidden um, the hidden pins in there. T-latch. This one, as much as I like it, I don't like to flip it because I don't want to devalue it. Uh, nice blade. It's got the utility blade on it. No scratches. I love this one. So this is like a childhood one that I've always wanted. So this one will never go up for sale. It'll be locked in the vault. 
Uh, this one flips great. Um, definitely this one and this one out of my small ones are my two favorite flippers. If you want one that's got um, more weight to it, um, this is, I mean, because it's so small, it's got perfect amount of weight. I wish, I wish Benchmade would make a small version uh, in stainless. So my battery's gonna run out here. Um, sorry guys, ran out of juice. So, um, just some of my overall opinions as to who the, these might fit. Um, this one here is definitely a, a beginner's um, beginner's balisong. So is the Baron Sons. Uh, it might be okay if you're really not going to get serious into it, or uh, you just want to piss around. Um, they're not going to make you better flippers because they're going to hinder you. Um, this one's not too bad. This one here is jacked up. At least maybe mine is. Maybe they're, they're not all that way. I don't know. Um, the Kimuras are definitely uh, worth 115% of their value. They are um, they're a great size um, for what you're getting. The price-wise, um, they're definitely great knives. They're not something that... Um, I don't think very many people use in competitions. Uh, you know, that's just what I'm hearing. I'm not a com competition grade flipper. You know, I just piss around. But that's what I've heard from other reviews. As they see them every once in a while, but usually they're the the benchmates or the um, microtechs that are being used. But they are right below that. You know, they are great, great knives. Um, the Pacific Colory, man, if you can get a hold of one, I would, I would, I would get an RB. I love these. Um, they're just as good as the the Benchmades, you know, but um, to me they've got a little bit more prestige, a little bit more character value, um, just because they're what ben they were Benchmade before they were Benchmade. So that's why I like them. Um, the Benchmade 30 and the 31. <clears throat> this is definitely a, um, a heavy balisong. You know, it's a big chunk of steel. Um, great. I mean, it is a great flipper. <clears throat> it's got enough weight to be responsive, um, kind of like this one. But um, but you can't find them. You know, they're no longer made. I wish Benchmade would make a three-inch um, stainless uh, balisong. I don't know why they don't. Titanium one's a little bit lighter. Um, it is definitely faster than these two here. About the same as the uh, the 32 Morpho. Great little knife. Again, you can't find them. So they're they're in a league of their own. If they're no longer made, you can't find them. Um, it's really kind of hard to say go out and buy one because you just can't find them. Um, although these are for sale, but you know what I mean. In general, um, you can't find them. The 31, or the 32 Morpho, sorry, <clears throat> it is a great ballad song. Um, I really like it. It is lighter weight. It does have its own sound to it. Um, you know, I like the metal ones because of the way they sound, which is kind of weird, but it is. Um, it has a different sound to it, which you kind of get used to and you, it kind of grows on you. Um, I would like to take one of these and put carbon fiber scales in it but just haven't got that far yet. But this is a great flipper. I mean, I, I don't know if I would buy one full price. Um, same thing with the 51, the Morphos. You can get them used for 100, 150 bucks. So there's no way I'm paying two something for them because you can you get them used. So that's what I did. Both, uh, both of these are used actually these all came second hand because I don't like to pay full price for anything. <laughs> um, the uh, Dragonfly, this is definitely like a beast of its own. It's not a tachyon. It's not titanium. It's aluminum. Uh, but again, no longer made. Um, it's an in-between size. So if you, you know, if the, the, the three inch are too small and the four inch are too big, um, this is right in between a great knife. Again, you can't find them anywhere. And I think they did make like a, a camo fly and a desert fly. This is the dragon fly because of the coloration. 
Um, really do like this one, but again, it's hard to suggest buying it because they're hard to find. But I will do a review on this at some point or another. The 51, again, um, if you like the larger size, this is a very quick, um, not quite as responsive as the larger ones, but um, great quality battle song. Again, I wouldn't buy it brand new, I'd buy it used. Um, look for a good deal, and it's definitely worth it. Great battle song. The 62, um, I've flipped the 42s, but I've never owned one. Um, I actually think I like this one better. Again, I've got smaller hands, so the length doesn't bother me. Um, the finish on it, I like the finish better because it's all milled. Uh, looks a little bit more... Um, I don't know. I don't know. It looks more precision accurate if you were to um, classify it that. Uh, it does flip really well. It is a little bit heavier, so if you don't like a heavy valve song, you won't like this one. Uh, I, the only thing I don't like is I, I don't like the T latch uh, for several reasons. It's very thin, so it's hard to get a hold of, um, and then it's it's not spring loaded. You know, I like it spring loaded. So that's my really my only complaint with the 62. The clone again, you know. If you're starting off, or if you want something to be, uh, they're not bad. They're not titanium. Even if you see one that says titanium, if you look at the weight, the weight of the one that doesn't say titanium and the weight of the one that does say titanium are the same. Uh, that can't be that can't be accurate because um, you know the titanium would weigh less than this. So if you see one, I have seen them that said titanium. They're not. So don't get fooled. Um, so I think this is a great beginner's mess around, you know, if you're a kid or whatever. Same thing with this one. The uh, Spyderco Small Fly, <clears throat> it definitely has a different feel to it. So, um, if you like the styling of it, um, it does take a little bit used, getting used to to flip, but I hear once you get used to the handles, um, a lot of people really like them. Like Calvin Nation, he really likes his. So, I can't knock it. I just haven't flipped it enough to have it grow on me. So that's pretty much it. That's the collection, guys. Um, some of these, like I said, are going to be for sale. Um, hope you like the video. Um, again, I've got to do. I need to do an in-depth review on these, on the on the dragonfly, the uh, 52, 51. You know why do they do that? 51, um, the 62. Those need reviews done on them. I think all of these I've done reviews on. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. It's been a long one. I apologize for that. I uh, hope you like the new background. And if you got any questions or comments or whatever, let me know. We'll greatly appreciate it. And you guys have a great day. Later.